Okay. Hello friends. This is Yusuf here. Welcome to another IBM video. So uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, some best practices of you no know, RBG Lee. So uh, yes, we are going to do a series for the fully free form uh, RBG Lee conversion. So that will happen after this video. But what I thought of like uh, giving a you no know, quick uh, no uh, suggestions or best practices uh, which will be useful for all the new developers or somebody who's already coding okay so it's important that what things we have to do what things we have we should not do even though if that will work in rpg to make sure we are writing some modern code so all these you no know, suggestions which i have listed down is taken from this book uh, red book called uh, modern rpg for modern programmers i'll give the link in the description for this book for downloading as pdf uh, it's a very very nice book okay so trust me you can go through it by your own now let's start the video so we're going to start from our variable names so i could see like uh, still many people okay who's coming new right so they initially start from rpg for uh, fixed form so they are restricting themselves to maybe write to 15 digit of variable names or you know uh, 10 10 characters of variable names but actually we can have variable name uh, a lengthier variable name, variable name as well okay uh, so what i am suggesting here is we should have a meaningful variable names okay we should make sure your variable names are consistent and you are not you know using any abbreviations if you are using abbreviation then you should be uh, using it consistently so if you are having like convert you no know, temperature you are using either use like cvt temperature or con temperature but throughout the program you should use the same you no know, uh, convention okay and do not use any special characters uh, except underscore okay because when there are any ccad issues then the other special characters are will get affected okay and uh, rpg is case in case insensitive so uh, here you are seeing the customer id in any form is still okay but you make sure you are having some consistency in your code either you can use camel case or pascal case but it should be you know consistent enough and uh, make sure you are differentiating some basic things say for example here we have you know salary is equal to calculate pay of 97 salary is equal to calculate pay underscore pay of 97 so by looking into this right somebody can think okay it could be a function uh, we are passing a value 97 and we are getting the result in salary or someone will say someone would say that uh, calculate pay might be an array uh, of 100 items we are trying to get, retrieve the 97th item so to make this a confusion right to clear it either you can think like okay if it is a function we will use underscore okay if it is not a function we will, we will not use underscore like that okay Okay, next is uh, some case we, we can try to use the named constants say for example uh, in some cases we may need to uh, compare some file status so on right so in this case you can have this number as a constant uh, declare as a constant and use it like this so when somebody is uh, reading it right so they will feel like okay we are checking if the file is locked or not instead of just thinking like uh, whether we are checking the file status 1218 but 1218 is for what somebody or many people will not understand okay the next thing is indentation commands so indentation is very very important uh, because that will give you the readability right uh, so if you are still following our fixed form rpg le if you have like 10 if statements nested then you won't be able to understand which end if is for which if okay that's a very big no problem but once you start writing the uh, free form right you'll be you'll be able to adapt that you can do indentation so that it looks clear and then uh, no so that the people can understand what we're trying to do okay if suppose you are calling a function uh, which is more than one line okay you can always split into the multiple lines so that it gives uh, again the flexibility of reading and comments so command is one of the main thing uh, during your coding okay so uh, it's we need to give equal importance to commenting as uh, for the same level of important what we are giving for logical okay so because after some days or years when you look back your own code you won't be understand what you have done okay unless there are some useful comments so trust me whoever is doing application support and production support they know the usefulness of the comments okay so whenever they're analyzing if there are any useful comments given they will really appreciate the <laughs> coder okay fine so next is uh, continuing the indentation so in case of sql rpg Lee, it's actually a good practice to have like this okay select from where order by those kind of sql classes you have you let, let let you start with that okay even though you have space after select statement don't put from and where on the same line you can have it as a multiple line so that it gives again the good readability 
then uh, as much as possible you can try to use templates and qualified data structure okay so say for example in this example there is a address uh, which is having the base template uh, like it has street and city and so on but there could be many different addresses like uh, you no know, personal address office address client address okay so what you can do you can define your base and define it with the template and qualified so that when you are creating other you no know, uh, data structure based on this template you can use like ds and the advantage of qualified is you can have the same uh, variable name available in more than one uh, data structure you can access it using the uh, data structure name itself say for example here uh, mail address dot street street one will point to this street one i mean this street one so if at all you have maybe like uh, you know uh, personal address as one more data structure then you can have personal address dot street one which will point to that uh, street one of the personal address data structure but if you don't have qualified given then you cannot do like that okay it will throw an error fine uh, the next thing is uh, qualify whenever possible so many people i have seen like after they do maybe a chain okay then they will check if end of file or not okay they won't give the file name inside the function so it's go good practice to give the uh, file name directly so that uh, we are no it gives two things one is uh, by looking into it we can see which function or uh, which file we are looking for and uh, programmatically also it's a good practice okay and when you are defining uh, character fields right better to use uh, var char instead of character the one good thing about var char is it it uh, trims the right portion of the you no know, variable uh, by itself so uh, if you are defined with character if it is maybe 10 character long if you if your variable is holding only 5 character then still there will be you know empty spaces on the right hand side but if i use var char which is like var uh, varying keyword then it will remove those trim i mean the blank spaces okay so subroutine versus sub procedures so many people uh, uh no still using the sub routines for splitting the logics uh, but no uh, you need to have sub processes no uh, for the modularization or the structure so if you if your program is having like maybe three segments you need to create three sub processes and inside the sub processes you have many small segments then you can have sub routines inside the sub processes okay uh, because the advantage of sub routines over sub procedure is a lot right which means i have made a separate video like uh, what you can do in sub procedure which is cannot do in sub routines okay you can pass you no know, parameters and then uh, return some variables you can have local variables okay those things in sub procedures but not in sub routines okay so you have to use sub procedure as much as possible and inside the sub procedure you can have you no know, sub routines okay next is uh, please do not use the older functions okay when i say older functions there are like uh, uh, you know move move will go to so these functions or these commands op codes were used in rpg3 and 4 okay when you are going to the fully free or no uh, or even the free form for calculation specification okay try to avoid these you no know, functions or op codes okay the one good thing or bad thing i don't know but what we can do is you can still use some of the op codes okay in the modern uh, you know rpg also Th those are still supported but it is best practice not to use okay and uh, other functions like go to uh, cab which is comparison operator or comp uh, please do not use and uh, there will be some codes like uh, if equal if equal to if not equal to right do while equal to do while not equal to so we can try to avoid those things and should, instead of that you can use like select when uh, other end select those kind of things and uh, when coming to indicator side uh, this is also one of the common practice like still we will be using indicators like in03 is equal to on or okay like this so to so for a non programmer or non rpg programmer they won't understand what it is so if you say something like if we are checking for exit then we are doing something so it will be meaningful but how to make this or how to give a variable name to the indicator basically uh, if you are having maybe the you no know, uh, display file uh, you can use a indicator data structure and you can provide whatever the name you want and under the uh, no uh, under the data structure you can define define your own you no know, uh, variables you want and you can assign it with the corresponding indicator positions okay so that it will be you know useful when you are writing the code rather than just giving like in03 so on and then uh, try to avoid compile time arrays and convert that into a data structure okay so here if you see what we are trying to do is loading the 9, 12 month into you now array so here you can see there is a month names yeah, array 
which is of nine character long and it can occur 12 times and we are saying that uh, the values are present uh, in the CT data which is here okay and uh, one record is having uh, three elements so that's why that is 12 records so instead of that you can do something like this because the problem is when the people coming and seeing you know into a code right they will see the first line but the data will be on the down and if you are having more than one compile time data then you need to give you know one by one many things so they need to you know uh, relate each other to understand what value will come and sit into this particular uh, you know uh, data uh, array so if it's going to be like a data structure, you can define an upfront so that they will easily understand what is what. So finally, uh, please try to use the ILE features uh, and uh, try to move to fully free RPG. Okay, uh, because uh, I don't know. Uh, still, uh, I was even, even I was using you no know, only partial uh, free format, uh, uh, not used the you no know, declaration specification as fully free. But I'm trying to move. Okay, and please remember that uh, all the new features are good for the future okay uh, so we don't want to stick into the past uh, because in that case you won't be able to or we won't be able to understand what the new things are offering to us okay so that is the end of this video so i hope this could be a little bit of introduction for our next series and i'll be making the videos uh, as uh, part by part basis due to the no uh, I, I posted a poll in uh, no youtube so whether you want a full video in a single video so full no in a single video or a part by part video so i got uh, no more uh, votes for the part by part no series so i'll be making that uh, moving guide to moving to the fully form rpg as a part by what no series and uh, to be frank uh, even that is going to help me to uh, start reading and understanding the fully free format yeah so that's it for this video uh, i hope this could be useful and you can try to use these things in your day to day life and i'll give the link to the pdf in the separate uh, no uh, description section i can very well go and then see there are a lot more things apart from what you have said and it will be really useful for you okay so that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video uh, bye bye